is the moment. Tonight is the night. Hey guys, it's Cryptomio Analysis coming at you with a new video on AST, AirSwap. Actually, I think this this is on Coinbase. It is, and it's on Binance. Pretty good play. It's a pretty it's a 2017 coin. Uh, last bull run, it did not um, break the all time high, but I guarantee it's probably because oh no, they didn't release circulation into the supply. But so 500 total supply circulations at 174 total. Uh, Diluted market cap is 89 million. The market cap is at 31 million right now with this with with what's distributed. Airswap is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer trading network on Ethereum. Uh, it aims to buy and sell tokens uh, of token secure, simple without fees. Okay, so I guess it's like a swap, right? So I guess it's basically like a decentralized swap, and and you're you're basically sending money. Oh, that's cool. I mean, there's a lot of these, so just keep in mind that the this this industry is diluted in the market, uh, in in the market. But again, the great thing about it is that once, um, that if you're buying this coin, you're hoping that there is a big contract with a in world like company where then they'll use AirSwap, which is again very possible. Um, so you know, Visa can pick this up, Amex can pick this up. Anything like that can any any one of those like you know payment processors can pick this up, um, and or banks can pick this up. So again, that's your that's your best bet. Uh, there's plenty of room for growth in this market, and so I think it's a good play. I I don't have any of this type of coin in my portfolio because I'm a degen and I only have Dogalon Mars and OXC. But uh, this is something like if I was a millionaire, this is something that I would definitely add to my portfolio. Uh, look, let's look at the, yeah, you know, let's look at the, okay. Oh, ooh, they have an NFT place too. That's cool. Oh, you could swap your NFT. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So it's more than just a swap. It's more than just a, uh, sending payment to your peer. Um, so that's cool. So you could do NFTs, you could swap, and then I'm assuming you could send money to people. Over the world so that's actually that actually makes me feel a little bit more comfortable too so i like that that's a really cool concept now let's look at the technical uh analysis aspect of this wow it just absolutely what is that 147 percent in like two weeks okay okay so whoa what is this Two years of consolidation almost yeah you guys are like anybody who's in this one is about to freaking absolutely go parabolic but the problem is that how do I get this graph from 2017 interesting so it's been out since it's been out on Binance okay so <clears throat> just really quick I want to do the long-term target So this is the scariest thing because long term it needed to get over the 382 and it never did. It did get over to 236. So he, people that bought here thought that it was going to continue up and then hopefully see that's like that's my biggest fear because in like in the next bull run or in this bull run, what if like my coin doesn't go? So like for example XLM, what happened was um, it's just the numbers aspect of it is so say it consult so it fall it pumps it falls and then it goes like sideways it consolidates for two years it starts going back up usually uh what, what what's supposed to happen is that after this big of a move your next target is the 1618 right so it goes it goes it hits the 1618 to the 2618 and then it kind of falls back and it does the same thing here but like on this aspect uh, that's my biggest fear like just holding a, like OXT and back in the day, uh, uh, XLM. The reason why I said XLM is because it never hit its all time. It never hit uh, the high. It, I think it hit like 80 cents to hit the 786. So keep that in mind if you're in this coin. Use like it did it, but this time it might be different, right? They might get contracted and they might um, they might have partnerships. They might have new group new group of investors. Obviously the coin's not dead because it's still moving. So. Uh, there's a little bit of hopium for you there. Uh, so, but, but 
as long as it's under 52 cents in the macro perspective, it's not going to be bullish using a $2.19 as the high. But if we use this previous bull run as the high, as long as it's, so it did tag the 236 and it's under the 236 right now at 21. So uh, in, let's just use this because this is going to be more realistic, right? If you want to scream that it's going to go to two dollars then go for it that's fine it, it probably will i don't know how long whatever but for anybody who wants to play it smart and 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 have shorter term time frame targets and reload areas uh then this is the video for you rsi is over so overbought obviously we're going to get some sort of correction um it's not going to be bullish until we get over and stay above the 236 we need to really get above the 382 to scream moon boy at uh 32 cents once that hits then obviously we're probably going to hit the uh 77 and then the next target up in this bull run for me at, at, at least would be between dollar 23 and dollar 97 which is very reasonable um, if it doesn't ever get past that, then the, you know, then the target is going to be 61 cents, but I don't like, I think this thing's going to go flying. It's had four years, uh, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, five years of consolidation. Cause I don't even count this. This isn't, this wasn't even a bull run for you guys, right? This was just more like side with like more consolidation, but like on a bigger time frame. So yeah, that's my, <clears throat> that's what I'm seeing right now. Uh, short term though, let's look at where it needs to hold. Short term would be here. Three, two. Okay, so uh, 1429, 1429 is the next target. <clears throat> it needs to get over 23 to, and then it'll be probably around 33 cents, uh, 31 to 33 cents. That That's my prediction. That's just what I think. It's very possible for it to also do something like this where it does come back to the 618 bounce around and then the next target up would be what was it um if it comes back to the there it would be the 31 cents um that's my targets that's what i think about this coin please like subscribe comment thank you so much for your support and yeah if you want to help support the channel check the about a section of my page or just the description if not you could just like and subscribe and comment thank you and catch you guys in the next video